little more sensible coming out. Crom versus Fox. So, yes, as expected. As we are going to game number one at Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, how do you how do you foresee this playing out, especially just with these uh, two combatants in mind? Well, you know, you see a lot of Chrome gameplay and where some Chrome's falter is that is getting edge guard. It's going to be a little more difficult for Fox to really knock Chrome away. Uh, it's not going to be really easy. It's really hard commitment on Fox's part to go off stage outside of like maybe Shine, but even that's kind of hard because that's only going to have a couple of frames of invincibility from two to three. Um, but then outside of that, it's just going to be really tough. And you see right now, Shoyo James all over Odyssey at the start here, six to a hundred percent. And the F's oh enough to do it. Drop that shield and get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad. I, I was I was really trying to I was really trying to see a sword fighter in this uh, before our set ended. Yeah, right. You yeah, know, it's it's a rare sight. Indeed. Shoyo James, safe for sure eyes. And apparently he's crying bad either. So. Sitting at 66% with all three of his stocks in it. Odyssey See, trying to change that very quickly in the edge guarding wow. game. Yeah, that snaps. Bro, they, they said they got rid of Magnet Hands, but you know, you're looking at Krom and Fox. I love the Wave Land back there, too. Didn't really get anything off it, but just you know, making sure Odyssey's aware of the fact that he's that he's got that. I mean, got rid of the Magnets and gave him a freaking force field. I don't know what else you want to tell me. But back here? No, yeah. interesting. Down tilt. Down F tilt, tilt into the smash. Beautiful. I, I think that was just F tilt, actually. And knowing your percentage, they're just a the quick little swing across, right? Actually, I think you're right. Shoot. No, I, yeah, yeah, because he was still sliding. Yeah. Shoot. Dude, down tilt's so good. You have to be aware of that at all times because it feels like almost everybody techs in place still when that's one of the worst options. I am more Especially than, against Krom, too. Jeez. Yeah, the thing is, is, like, I've been doing this for less than a year. I am more than okay with being wrong. However, uh, oh Odyssey. Oh, my God. Odyssey. Uh, he can't afford to be wrong here. He's on his last stock, and he does clean up that uh, that first one. But and look was, at, did you see that number? A hundred and forty. Uh, what was that? One hundred and forty-six. One hundred sixty-four. Yeah, and that was even then. Some like, combination of those numbers. The up smash had to be perfectly timed to sneak underneath the nair there. So really good uh, up smash there for Odyssey. Ooh, see the side be all across stage, but not a great option. And we're gonna see show you just a little bit more ticky tack percent just with that quick up beat. Show you James. No. Looking for any and all opportunities to get it. Licks in on Odyssey and sw Odyssey swinging and missing far too much. Piled up to 106 percent. Excuse me. So at which point is that? Is that B? Oh. Like at what point is like the seventh or eighth of B? Do you go? All right, maybe get a little bit BM here. Well, I will say that it, it should be if. If Odyssey is uh, if Odyssey is smart, it will be at some point during game number two because it has not happened yet. Yeah. Um, and the thing is that it's tough. You have Shoyo James mixing you up. You have to try everything. You have to rely on, but you really do have to rely on your training. This isn't really the sort of game where you can just press buttons and win. You kind of have to improvise. You have to. You can't improvise. Rather, you really do have to. Uh, oh, okay. Rely on your. Good oh my. Good counter picker. I mean, hey, you, you have to rely on what you did in the lab, and certainly Odyssey. Well, this is kind of like the, this is like kind of the full switchover. We talk about how you know Fox is going to have a little bit of difficulty going off stage and challenging Prom. Palutena, not the case. Both with a uh, auto reticle and explosive fl explosive flame and the nair, you can do a lot to really force Prom back away from ledge. And already 76, going to see the explosive flame back through here, force off stage again. How are you going to get down? All right, so Odyssey holding court in the middle of the stage. Shoyo James getting taken aback. This is one matchup that he has uh, tended to struggle with. And uh, Great Gonzalez has taken uh, has taken games off of him, if I am not mistaken. And of oh, course, uh, Gonzalez at Palutena main and that explosive flame, Odyssey. Putting in that work and drawing first blood in this game number two. Caps off an explosive start. You see, really, and now the entire time Odyssey has been playing from center, it's really difficult for Shoyu to get in right now. Even when he does, uh, and it really moves around it quite easily. Oh, wow. I expected him to go for a grab there, whiffs the fair, but, you know, it's once again back in center. Oh, please don't get hit by that. Okay. And this is a game, obviously, that rewards a lot of aggression. But the fact of the matter is, is like, if you don't if you don't connect, you are going to be punished and punished hard. That is a carryover from Smash 4, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, this is a game that's built off of Smash 4's engine, so it should be noted. So, Odyssey. And what we're seeing right here, 
a lot of uh, a lot of primarily defensive gameplay, and I feel like that suits Odyssey just a little bit better as I as he gets killed. Great um, coverage on the tech there. Th this is definitely suiting Odyssey just a little bit better, just because I mean, Palutena has more options to play a defensive game. So if this is uh, Odyssey dictating the pace of the match, I'd have to say that uh, Shoyo James doing a good job of keeping up and really closing the gap right back. Yeah, I was about to say, what lead at this point? It is almost gone now. Yeah. Oh my god, the wave land to avoid the bear too. Show you name so good. Oh god, calls him out with the back air. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Odyssey. Odyssey, Odyssey ain't playing around. Holy like smokes. You, you see the stream and it even goes like, Jesus. He's like, you're going to try to up E right now. Yeah, Palo is seeming like an excellent choice here in game two. Neutral airs. Of course, that flash kick. Not the Guile flash kick, mind you. Yeah, more of the Zelda kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, you get me. Ooh, Ooh catches the Eftel, no tech. And now, once again, we saw Shoyu James at the start of the second stock get a huge damage output up to 59%. See if he can recreate the same magic here. All he really needs is an up tilt or a falling up air just like that. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 44%. Yeah, sometimes that's all you can do is watch your character get slapped around with a sword. And indeed, that is the conundrum of Odyssey. As Shoyo James has even this right back up. See where it Did goes well here. to get nice back, back to the stage. Oh my Jab. god, he went for the down. I, thought, I think he was going for the down air. Yeah, he was looking to pop him up and indeed found a way, but nice. just like that Odyssey. I'll show you James is alive, however. Bold of you to assume I fear death, says Shoyo James. All right, just a double jump back over. Misses the grab. This could be vital here for Shoyo James. Gets the grab here, forward throw. Where are we going? Shoyo James, oh, looking for it right then and there, however. Air dodge by Odyssey upon landing. Oh god, now you're above him. Where you go? What's the move? It's the back yeah. air. You don't really want to be above either of these characters. And the back air is going to seal it for Shoyo James. A 2-0 victory. Shoyo James moves on undefeated in the top 32. Yeah, a lot Take of that and rewind it back. Here's the closing moments of that match. Zeros across the board on his bracket run here. This is so good because he had to, you know, really fight from behind again in this Palo game. We really saw a really strong game plan there from Odyssey, who's now going to have to make it through, I believe, one more set of losers to make it to his own 32. But, uh, yeah, Sherry James never really faltering in that final game and really impressive to see it. You know, we talk about how you can now DI Trumps in and land on stage, but Sherry James fast enough to come back with Krom's airspeed and just back here and finish him out. Really, really good showing.